Erin from littleslovelearning.com. And recently over on my Instagram, I was talking about reading chapter books aloud to your kids and just how important it is in their reading development. Side note, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my username is littleslovelearningblog and I would love to see you over there as well. But back to chapter books. Chapter books are so important to help our little ones develop what we call language comprehension. So in previous videos, I have shared the simple view of reading. I'll put it up here again. The simple view of reading states that decoding multiplied by language comprehension equals reading comprehension. So most of the videos on my channel are related to decoding, helping your little one learn how to actually read the words that are on the page. But that's only part of the equation. We also need our little ones to have language comprehension, meaning that they understand what words mean. They have background knowledge. They have experiences that help them understand the meaning of words. Both of those multiply together. That's what's going to give us the reading comprehension. So the cool thing about language comprehension is you can work on this well before your little ones are even starting to learn how to read on their own because by all of the talking that you do with them, the experiences you give them, and the books you read aloud to them, it all helps develop their language comprehension. I also love that as they're learning how to read, and even when they're reading independently, you can still read aloud to them because the books you can read to them are going to be above their independent reading level. So you are going to be exposing them to much richer vocabulary, more complex sentences, and all of those other things that go into that language comprehension piece. So back to Instagram, I was sharing that when we have slower mornings in my family, whether it be in the summer or on the weekends, I like to read chapter books out loud to my kids while they're eating breakfast. One of the reasons that I do this is because first, it's morning, so I have more energy than I do by the end of the night. But second, while my kids are eating, they have something to do with their hands. So they're fully listening to the story while they're eating and their hands are busy. So they have less of a chance of being distracted and not paying attention to the story. I know for me, when I'm listening to podcasts, I love to do that while I'm doing something else, something to keep my hands busy, something that's mindless. So it's not taking a lot of my brain power, but emptying the dishwasher or going for a walk, something where I'm actually keeping a little bit busy while I'm listening helps me focus on my podcast. So the same is true for our kids. Instead of just reading aloud to them while they're staring at me or even looking at the book with me, I like to read aloud to them while they're eating breakfast because they have something to do while they're listening. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you some of our favorite chapter book series that we have read, starting with some that are great for our youngest learners, our three and four and five year olds who are just developing that ability to listen to longer stories and to remember from one day to the next what's happening in the story. So some of those early chapter book ideas and then kind of take you through some of the more complex ones that your little ones might love as well. So let's get started. For our youngest learners, my favorite chapter book series to start off with is called Mercy Watson. And there are so many different Mercy Watson books now. They're super simple. They have pictures in them and they're so funny. My little guy loved when we read the Mercy Watson series, so highly recommend that one. Then I have a few other ones that we love as well. Owl Diaries, this is a great option because this is written in a diary format, so the main character is writing in her diary, but there are colorful pictures and the chapters are not very long. So if your little one has a shorter attention span, they're gonna be able to keep up and be listening to the chapters without them getting too long. Another diary that we like, it's Diary of a Pug. So same idea for this one. It's written in a diary format. The main character is writing in his diary. And then we have colorful pictures, shorter chapters, and just super silly and funny. So these are really great beginning chapter books to develop that, the ability to listen to longer stories and to remember from one day to the next what happened. Another one we like for the littlest learners is the Princess in Black series. This one is Princess in Black and the Mysterious Playdate, but they have lots of them. And so again, lots of pictures, shorter chapters, 
and great for your little learners. So if you have three, four, and five-year-olds, these are great chapter books to start with. Now, as your kids get a little bit older or as you read more chapter books with them, they aren't going to need as many pictures and they're not going to need such short chapters. So you can start reading books that are a little bit longer to them. And of course, one of the most popular chapter book series for our little ones is The Magic Tree House. And there's a reason. These are super simple. The chapters aren't too long and the vocabulary is not too rich, which is actually really helpful. It's a little bit more simple, but there's so many of these. They have so many different topics. Right now, my little guy and I are reading these in order. So it's really fun to see how the story unfolds from the first book to now, I think we're on book 15. These are all at your local library, I'm sure. So if you don't wanna buy all of them, there's so many of them, you can get them from the library. But The Magic Tree House is a great choice. They also have a complimentary book that goes with each Magic Tree House book that's called The Fact Tracker. So these are nonfiction books. Some kids much prefer nonfiction books to fiction books. And so you might wanna try one of these and see if your little one likes listening to the nonfiction the facts and the information about whatever topic the Magic Treehouse book was about, they have a fact tracker for it. Just a side note, these don't go together, <laughs> but we did happen to have this fact tracker book, so I wanted to show it to you. Then one of our favorites for uh, beginning listeners who are listening to chapter books, but they don't have a ton of pictures, is the Unicorn Princesses series. They have a different um, book for each unicorn princess. This is part of this unicorn princess family. They're super sweet. And what I love most about this series is that there are no characters that are mean or nasty or negative to each other. Everybody is really supportive and kind. And I just love how sweet they are. So this is a really good option for your little ones, pre-K and kindergarten that they can listen to. And it also gives them a good example of how to act and support our friends. So we love that. Another one that's super popular that, again, they have lots in this series, the Rainbow Magic series. This one happens to be a special edition, so it's a little bit longer, but most of them are really short, so not too involved. It's not going to take you too long to get through it, and they have different fairies for different colors, different gems, different everything. They just have so many different fairies. If your little one has a name that goes along with a fairy, they might really like that. I know my daughter loved reading the book that went along with her name. And so these are also very simple. And this is a great choice for your little ones when you're just starting out with chapter books. Now, two more series that your little ones might like. We have Mermaids to the Rescue and we have Permaids. So if your little one is really into mermaids or permaids in this case, anything like that, these are really sweet books, super simple series. Again, not too long. This one doesn't have the colorful pictures. So you want to use these when your little one is ready to go past those colorful picture chapter books and ready to listen to something a little bit longer. But again, these are just super sweet. Something that's really important to me as a mom, to a daughter and to a son is to really encourage science so that my kids grow up loving science and knowing how important it is in the world. And especially my daughter, I know there are not as many women in science as there are men. So I really want her to have good role models and examples of women in science. So I'd like to find chapter books that reflect that. One of our favorite chapter books with a main character who's a girl in science is called Zoe in Sassafras. I don't have one with me today, but Zoe is the sweetest character. She helps magical creatures by using the scientific method to solve their problems. So I love how it incorporates science and it also incorporates some magic because a lot of kids love magic and mythical creatures. In fact, I dressed up like Zoe from Zoe and Sassafras for our love of reading week when we were dressing up like book characters, which was really fun. So highly recommend that series. Another one that we really like is Ada Lace on the case. Now, this series is written by a female scientist. Her name is Emily Calandrelli. I love to follow her on Instagram. She has really fun ideas. She's had a show on Netflix before, and she's a mom, and I love how she encourages girls to get involved in science. So this is a really sweet series as well. 
If your kids like the fancy Nancy books, the picture books that are all about Nancy and she uses dress up words, these fancy words in the book, which we love, we love those picture books, then they might really be interested in the Nancy Clancy chapter book series. So it's the same main character, Nancy. She's just a little bit older, written by the same author and has the same illustrator. And so this could be really fun if your kids are familiar with Fancy Nancy already, introducing a chapter book like this so it's the same characters but she's a little bit older and it's a chapter book so definitely recommend these we also really like the never girl series in our family so this is going to be for kids who are a little bit older you can try it with your little ones but this is about four girls who end up going to neverland where tinkerbell lives with all the fairies and so each book in this series is a different adventure that they have in Neverland, which is really sweet. They also have a spin-off series called Finding Tinkerbell, where Tinkerbell is missing and the girls have to find her. And so we like that one as well. If your kids are interested in the American Girl dolls, I know my daughter went through a phase where she loved American Girl dolls. They actually have chapter books that go along with the dolls. And so they have the Welly Wishers, which are a little bit younger. These chapter books have more colorful pictures. And so this is great for your littler ones. They also have books that go along with each girl. So they have Girl of the Year. This one was from 2018, Luciana. And so you can see that these chapter books are much longer. This is going to be a little bit for your older kids. I think my daughter was in first grade when she was really into American Girl. So if you have kindergarten, first grade, second grade, I hope you're still reading aloud to them. This would be a great option if they like American Girl. They also have mystery series in this. So they have some American Girl dolls from before, probably from when you and I were kids. And so they have mystery series for each of those. And so these are really fun. My daughter loved mysteries when she was younger. And so again, longer chapter books for a little bit older kids, but really fun if they love these characters from the American Girl dolls, then they're gonna really love these books. Now I mentioned nonfiction books earlier in this video. So if your kids like nonfiction, definitely check out the Who Is the Who Was series, or What Is, or What Was. Um, they all are from the same Who HQ publisher, and they have these pictures where it's always like a big, big-headed character on the front. Um, but these are really great because they're not too long, and they explain about either an important person's life or an important landmark or a place or an event that happened that's really important. So again, if your kids like nonfiction, they would rather learn about something real and not have a fiction book, you can definitely check out these chapter books. We read the Who Was Walt Disney book before we went to Disneyland, which was really fun to kind of pull in the story, but also something our experience we were going to be going. And so then we were able to combine those two. So definitely recommend that series for nonfiction. I hope this video gave you some good ideas for chapter books you might want to try with your kids. If you're not already reading chapter books to your kids, consider this video a sign, a sign to try it. Maybe you think your little one is too young and they won't be able to follow along in a chapter book. Just try it. See how it goes. Even our three, four, and five-year-olds do an amazing job with their listening comprehension and they can listen and follow along. If you're having a hard time keeping their attention, maybe try reading to them while they're eating or doing something else with their hands, maybe coloring or playing Legos or squishing Play-Doh, something to keep their attention with their hands busy so that they can listen to the story. If you have any questions about any of these book series, go ahead and let me know. You can find me on my website, littleslovelearning.com, or you can comment down below. I love books. As you can see, we buy a lot of books. We have a lot of books in our house. But my recommendation to you, before you buy any of these books to try out, just head to your local library and see if you can check them out for free. Most of these books are going to be at your library. You're going to want to try that first before you purchase them. I just don't want you to end up buying a ton of books and your little one is not interested in them. So I like to make sure that we get books from the library first. And if my kids absolutely love the book and they read it over and over, then I know that it's a good one to buy. So check out your local library first. Make sure that you use those resources. You can also look up Read Alouds on YouTube if you don't have the book. Maybe a podcast will have an audio book that they can listen to. Anything where they're getting that complex vocabulary, that rich language comprehension piece while they're listening to a story. Until the next video, I hope you have a great day.